How's it going everyone? My name is Brennan or Bpug. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my Call of Duty Black Ops 3 jumps and wall run spots guide as well as giving you some little tips on game modes like domination while we're in this as well. So to start off on this map right here, there's a few different things you can choose to do and if you want to go into the enemy's spawn and do some crazy stuff and sneak around them and get some cover, you can always go around this way right here. This is a pretty basic spot but not a lot of people think about it and you know it could help if you are in a bad situation for a lot of this stuff. Basically, all the flat areas like this, you can run along these on the map right here if you jump to them the correct way and all of that. And a quick little spot you can do right up here is if you choose to, just run up along this to get alongside the enemy's spawn. Now, there's a few things you can do from coming around this corner right here, which is if you choose to come up on this wall, jump to this wall right here, which sometimes it doesn't connect as well. Go on this, go on this right here. And bada boom, you were there. So there's a lot of cool transitions you can make, but some of the most popular ones include the one by the alert sign right here, which is what I'm going to call that. If you're coming from this way, you're going to always notice most of the time there's either a guy camping there, just like if you were over there facing this way and there's a guy camping right about there. They're usually running across the wall to get to this side. You rarely ever see someone running this way, just because whenever you do run towards their spawn, there could be people coming from right there a lot, or like there, there's just going to be a guy head glitching here. Your odds of dying compared to running on this side are a little bit more common because people don't really come over. You, you might see one guy here or here, but the average people will usually come around here or they'll, they'll wall run as well. So that is one of the main spots right there on this you can do. Um, the, the other one, which is like, I guess the fan favorite for this map, and I'm, I'm just saying fan favorite just because it's, it's very popular. So you can go along this side and if you choose to, you can run, go along here, curve that, come back around and you can literally do a lot of things. And as you can see, I fell off there because I didn't really turn as good, but that's the basic thing. So if I'm running this way and you can actually sit right up here too, if you want to wait for somebody, which a lot of people will sit here, but very rare unless it's like team deathmatch or something. Uh, you can go all the way around this. Like I said, come over here. And if you want to, if you can time this right, if you have a little boost, you can come onto that and curve around and everything. You can, if you want to, go on this. And this is one of the more secret things that a lot of people don't pay attention to on this. And I'm going to die again just to show you the better way to do that. But I wanted to respawn over here, and I luckily got the correct spawn for the next spot I wanted to show you guys. So with this spot right here, there's a lot of things you can do. But what I recommend, if you're going to be trying to go into the middle... You don't really want to go like this and then come over here and everything. I mean, you can. It does work. But there's a lot you can do to this spot right here. And you can actually come around this and come up and loop around there. But the main thing, if you want to come into the middle right here, your best choice is just... This is just because if you run along this, you're risking yourself getting killed from a guy camping here or here to where if you run straight along this, you're getting that quick dive right in and then you're, you're safe. You can even come in and slide down under this and hang out under here. Now if you're going back this way, same thing. You want to ride along this wall and bada boom, you're in. And going this way also, it's really good because you can just clip off right there. They won't really see you coming. If you do choose to though, you can come along this and move along here to that side as well. But if you do choose to run on this part right here, what you want to do is come and curve onto this wall, run along this, and then bam, you're going to have a clean sight at the enemy's doorstep right there. And it's, like I said, vice versa for every side. But let's go back to the one hidden spot, you could say, that no one really pays too much attention to because it is a bit more complex. And it's, it's a little bit lower to the ground. And as you can see, you have like a guide arrow right here that you can follow along on this. And then you can come around here. So this is the more sneakier way and a lot of people don't really look at that but what you want to do is like look at this thing right here and you can see which path you're going to be going to along this and you can hit that corner and as you can see it, it's it's rough if you don't charge it right and everything so that is pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this if you did be sure to help me out and share this video with your friends on social media Leave a like rating if you did enjoy. Post a comment down below telling me how you guys feel about some of these spots and everything. And let me know how you're doing in the game as well. And be sure to subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And once again, thank you for watching.